Hey everyone, Thumb like em. peace and blessings be upon you. This is your girl Wonder Woman, aka Chef Ace. Um, it is way late at night. I know I kind of like, I'm late in getting you guys the video and I'm like really sweaty and I've just been really crazy busy, but I'm here with you today and I got the video. Woo! Okay, um, so before you, before you get into it, I just want to say like apologize because I've been calling it the Diadet Center and nah, that's not what it's called. It's called the Dianet Center, okay? Like Dia Net, Dia Net. I swear, I was really looking like for how to pronounce the name of this mosque before I went and I couldn't find anything at all. Crickets. Yeah. No, like for real though, I was looking all over the place. I could not find how to say it and I was like, is it Dianet? Is it Dianet? Oh, what are the English rules and grammar? Ooh, DIY. So, no, it was kind of like one of those school moments, you know, when you're reading the class roster. Guys, I might say your name wrong, so if I just say it wrong, just correct me. Dianet? Dianet? It's Dianet? Oh, Dianet, I'm so sorry. I, my apologies. I'll, I'll make a note of that on here. Yeah, so that's kind of what it reminded me of, one of those school moments. Okay, but no, seriously, if you guys are looking for a place to connect with Turkish people in America, this is totally the place to go. Learn about, like, maybe they even, like, the history, the architecture there, because really when you're there, oh my god, like, I really felt like I was in Turkey. Oh my god. Like, you just see pictures, I mean, the only thing that's really missing, I guess, are, like, the cats that are all over the place. Um... But yeah, really, really beautiful place. The people are so kind and nice. Thank you so much to everyone there, you know, for your kindness and open arms and just being so welcoming. And the food was really good at that iftar. Um, and also you guys are going to see me go to a bazaar there, which is like a store that they have. It, and they all the goods that they sell are from Turkey. I mean, for real. I got two uh, prayer rugs. Like, look at this. Isn't this pretty? Like, look at that. So pretty. That's like one of them. Check out this other one. Really. It's so pretty. It's blue and white. Yeah. So pretty. And honestly, like, I had actually left them with uh, two Turkish ladies that I was talking with at night, and I didn't realize that I forgot it until, like, I got a phone call from, uh, from one of them, and I was just, like, so grateful that I had shared my phone number with them that night, and I was able to pick it up later on. So thank you so much. To those ladies, Aisha and Nebri, thank you. So I actually got the chance to uh, interview some Muslims and non-Muslims about, you know, what they felt about, you know, non-Muslims and Muslims breaking fast at this Islamic event during this month of Ramadan. So I only got the chance to record one person, just because, you know, I was meeting so many different people, such an amazing experience. Um, but I did get uh, the phone number of one of the of a couple people. And this is what uh, her mans had to say, uh, a non-Muslim. Um, and her response was this. This is my first time being at a mosque ever. To be honest, being in Northern Virginia, you never just see a mosque every street as you would with a church. It was honestly such a breathtaking architecture. Breaking fast at the mosque was truly a different experience. I kind of had an idea how everything was going to happen, but actually experiencing it is so much different. It's just beautiful seeing everyone sit down and eat together. The diversity was truly heartwarming. It's a wonderful feeling knowing all these different people are there for one specific reason. It's a warm feeling, truly. It's like one big family. You don't really feel left out. The advice I would give to anyone with negative thoughts or feelings towards Muslims would be to try it out firsthand. The media has blinded a lot of people with the perception that Muslims are against all non-Muslims and has tainted them with the image of being evil and selfish individuals. But none of that is true. Taking a trip to the mosque, breaking fast with Muslims, will really show you how welcoming they truly are. Not once did I feel any shunning from anyone. In fact, when I stated that I was not Muslim, their face lit up and they welcomed me even more. The old saying is, don't knock it till you try it. And I believe that's true in this situation. Thank you so much, Hermans, for sharing that. But I really appreciate it, you know, sharing that with me and allowing me to share it with everyone here. So thank you so much. And um, 
you guys will see another interview that I do later on in this video. I know it's kind of dark, but it's because it was like late at night. But, you know, alhamdulillah, such an amazing experience. You guys have got to go. Uh, I mean, just breaking the fast there. There are people in the courtyard just picnicking out. And, you know, there are different lines. I ended up getting in the men's line. <laughs> I didn't realize it because it was dark. Uh, didn't you realize there was another line on the other side? They're like, no, 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 you're fine. Just stay here, you know. It's fine, you know, which is nice. So definitely great way to go build those, like, intercultural exchanges. Um, thank you again to everyone at the DNet Center. And um, Aid Mubarak to all the Muslims out there. All right, without further ado, let's get to that virtual tour of the DNet Center and let's roll. the Dayanet Center of America, everyone, in Lanham, Maryland. Hey, Assalamualaikum, everyone. This is Amanda Tarkawi, aka the Crazy Chef Ace, also known as Your Girl, the Wonder Woman. And I'm here at the Dayanet Center of America in Lanham, Maryland. And I'm about to go inside to the mosque area. It looks amazing from the outside, in case you haven't already seen. So, come along with me on this journey. Wow. Whoa. Wow, subhanAllah, this place looks amazing. Like freaking jaw drop, amazing! Wow, wow, wow. All this from the kinds of buildings from the outside. Wow, I'm amazed. Wow. Oh my god, guys. So all I could say is like, wow. Wow. This place looks amazing. Like, ridiculously amazing. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, so I'm at the Dianet Center of America in Laham, Maryland, and I'm going to talk about Ramadan and break fast with Muslims and non-Muslims here, get some uh, other people to share their thoughts about it, and um, yeah. Thank you. 
So Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. It is the month uh, that is believed that the Quran was first revealed and we fast during this month. Uh, fasting is considered one of the five pillars of Islam that we do and we fast from dawn to dusk. So only during the daylight hours do we fast, you know, we don't eat, we don't drink and uh, it's a great way for us to fuel for the needy, those who cannot afford to eat or drink uh, as well. And it's also a month where we give charity to others, especially those who cannot afford to eat or drink. Um, so, giving, sharing spirit, and I look forward to sharing with you what's coming up. Maybe you guys can't see that very well, but there are lights that are going on up there that are basically saying that he who believes in God he loves his neighbors, so it's in Turkish and in English. So, the five prayers that we pray each day is the Fajr, which is the first prayer when the sun is just coming up. And then we have the Duh prayer, which is the noon prayer. Uh, then we have the Asr prayer, that's the afternoon prayer. We have Maghrib, which is the sunset prayer, usually the time that we break fast. Today, I mean, we may break fast at around 8.40 p.m. and really eat, like, we'll just break it with a snack, like a date, something sweet to drink maybe, or water, and then we'll pray, and we'll continue eating, 
and then we will pray the fifth prayer, the Ashat prayer, which is the night prayer. So I'm gonna like broke over here because there was Native Dean playing here earlier today, and I totally missed it because I just was so mesmerized with the Quran that was being recited in the mosque earlier. You know, that you saw when we were walking around the masjid, but it was in this building here, um, the cultural center. I wish I could have, you know, recorded some for you, but definitely check them out, native. They have a bazaar here where people can actually buy things. <laughs> Different hijab, very like pretty hijab. <laughs> Come from Turkey? Wow. So get this. All of these things come straight from Turkey. How cool is that? Wow. Oh, I understand. <laughs> is this water? Yes, no drinks. They're drinks? Yeah. Do you recommend I try that? Yeah. Yeah? Somebody wanted to come back. I to come back for that then. Two people come back. Wow. Not that much. These are some heavy bookmarks. Maybe they're not bookmarks. I lied. Maybe they're just something he's staying. Oh my god. This is cool. Really heavy. Looks like it has the 99 names of Allah on it. They're just. These are all, these are all $50 except for this and this. They look beautiful. They look very beautiful. MashaAllah. 99 names of Allah. Wow. Guys, this is amazing. Oh, these are prayer rugs. Oh, I'm going to check these out. Wow, these are beautiful. Some of these are more expensive than others due to the design, but wow, these are gorgeous. Cookies, dried goods. You know what? That right there. That is delicious. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a long time. <laughs> I have during my undergraduate. One of my friends gifted it with me for me before. It is. It is. You're trying to tempt me, but I'm gonna say no, thank you. <laughs> Guys, I'm sold. I'm getting these two prayer rugs. like in the evening. Everyone stampedes out to get their iftar. And I'm here because I'm so mesmerized by the beauty of this mosque. SubhanAllah. <laughs> Time to go get some food from Iftar.
خمسينس كي الله دا ثاني سبتين هي هو بليبس ام غاد لاب هنس نيبر that's what that means beautiful mashallah I really get the feeling that I'm like in Turkey right now just this is amazing subhanallah so the fountains here are pretty like wudu the evolution to prayer let's go see what is for yeah, I'm sorry, he's a plastic surgeon. Did you pay right? You no, I did. It's his first fast today, so he wants to find his mom. Okay, so, you know, I'll, I'll catch up with you guys in a second. But I want to get to the eventually. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How did I go to the last one? Let's go make our way. Oh, there's a big line there. And you know what? I'm gonna... Hold off just a bit and do my order. We'll be back at the auditorium. Look at that beautiful ceiling. Hmm? I know, I missed it. Were they good? Do you remember what they were called? What were they called? You forgot. I think they're called Native Dean, right? Yeah. Look at this. Wow. What a beautiful ceiling. Uh, Alright, no, for real, definitely if not now. Guys, I found their sign, Native Dean. Check them out. Looks like they're having an entertainment channel. www.dean.com Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's really cool, I think it's a fountain. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm going up the stairs in the cultural center. I love this. Look at all this artwork and the architecture. Are you recording me? <laughs> I didn't even know there was an upstairs until someone told me there was an upstairs. Ah, pretty. Stop and observe the scene. Pretty. And by the way, I did bring like break my fast with this awesome drink here because I love roses and that's totally not focused much better okay no yes no ha yes okay anyways <laughs> there's a library here that's not open oh you can look down into the auditorium area I guess maybe maybe not president is here here bathrooms Calligraphy that says Bismillah Rahman Rahim and the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. I'm not sure what this one says. Maybe La ilaha illahua. There is no God but He. Oh, this is what you might see in Turkey. True story. More awesomeness. And I might just have to stop here. <laughs> See you guys at Iftar. Bye. This is pretty. Wow, guys.
Welcome everyone. Welcome so we just finished having our Aftar like a while ago and it was pretty crazy and I was talking to two Turkish people, <laughs> two ladies, uh, Aisha and Nariyet, and they were telling me that um, it was really crowded, especially yesterday and today, because of Leila mm -hmm. Bukot. You know, it's a night of power and people come and you know, supposedly when you pray on this night, you know, your prayers are accepted. Uh, yes, yeah, so right now I'm with Leila and she's been coming here for over a year now, right? Mm -hmm. And Leila, so what um, you've been coming here for so long now? Have you seen it this crowded? Um, usually during Ramadan, this the, the last two nights, yeah. Um, the last three weeks, it wasn't this crowded. Mm -hmm. um, you can't find parking. Everyone's on the grass. It was it was just standing room only in the, the eating hall. But um, yeah, and I'm, I'm I'm happy to see that too. Yeah. So what is it like for you? I mean, you've been coming here for over here. You know, to see Muslims and non-Muslims breaking fast together. How does that make you feel? I love it honestly. It makes my heart warm. It just gives me hope for the future, especially for my children, because they're going to grow up and live in this world. And I would love to see the non-Muslims come to the masjid and they sit down and eat with us, sit and listen, to, uh, see what we do while we're praying, listen to what we're hearing, and just just living with us um, in the moment. And um, instead of depending on what the media is telling them and what the Donald Trumps and the new Hitlers out there saying, you know, don't believe what the media is telling you. Find and see for yourself. I often invite my co-workers and friends who are not Muslim, even my family, um, to come to the masjid, not only during Ramadan, throughout the year. Um, you know, you want to know what it's like, ask a Muslim. Um, come sit with us, talk with us, laugh with us, eat with us, just do it all. We're human. We're not... The, we're not the scary boogeyman. Um, no. We're not the monster under your bed. We're your neighbors. We're we can be your friend too. Um, all that. You know, you mentioned that you bring your family here. <laughs> I'm Muslim. Like, is this too bad at that point? Yeah, I bring my my children here. I'm the only Muslim in my both sides of my family. But um, when I lived in Florida, my, my sister and my brother have um, gone to the masjid a couple of times. Not all of my family, but. Um, um, yeah, they've come, and I, I, again, I always encourage family and friends to come and sit and talk with us and hear what we hear and just learn. Um, you know, if you have time to go to a movie, you have time to come and meet, meet a new friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, so much Layla, and to my friends. Just go look up any mosque in your area and go visit them and you'll be yeah. surprised at yeah. how welcome they are. And even come up to us at work or wherever you see us and, you know, what you can come with us. Don't be shy. Say hello. We welcome it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, well, that's just about the end of it. We're at the end and I've got to get home because oh, you guys say way home. All right, guys. Take care. Until next time. Bye.
Another video coming. Right. Assalamualaikum, your girl, Wonder Woman. <laughs> 